Woo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we're starting the day off, and it's freaking pouring rain, Pool Jet. I'm wet. Th th oh, really? Yeah. Are you now? This ain't it, folks. It is It is pouring rain. We did bring the boat. It's chilling. Um, but we also have Felix. He's over there. He's in the he's in the red truck. He's got a boat as well. Um, We're planning on doing a little fishing challenge. So today's challenge, I mean, it's it's going to be a long video. You guys get your seatbelts. You buckle up, okay? Because it's going to be it's gonna be a heck of an adventure. Um, We are going to be doing a challenge where the only food we eat for the next 24 hours has to be food that we have caught on public land. No backyard, no farm, public land. So we're starting the day off at a beautiful lake here and we're going to um, we're gonna be going to Felix. We're actually gonna be taking his boat though because it's raining and he's got a little canopy thing. Uh, we didn't bring rain gear. Um, so he brought his boat, I brought my boat, but we're going to actually all jump in his boat now because he's got the canopy. It'll keep us somewhat dry because it, like I said, it's raining right now. We don't really wanna wait. It should clear off in the next hour or two, but we wanna get out there. Get out there get after it and go fishing but before today's video starts, i want to let you guys know that beefcake merch is now available i don't know why i said it that way but it's available link down below pop a bunch of different designs here it is all now available you guys have been waiting for it and asking about commenting about it it's finally here beefcake merch this shirt this hat and a whole bunch of other designs like i said link down below go check it out and use promo code flare to get 15 percent off of your purchase it's at googlesquad.com link down below um but we're gonna go ahead and get all the gear out of here throw it in felix's boat he's gonna take us out and like i said we are going literally gonna spend the next 24 hours doing catch and cooks I brought a cooker I brought the oil I brought the pan like it's kind of like camping but we're just we're not like we're not gonna go home and cook it um, we might do that for lunch or for dinner maybe depending on what we get but for today's sake we brought everything to cook kind of camping style and we're gonna head out and like this lake I mean there's obviously gonna be largemouth and crappie and bluegill but we're going after a species that you guys I don't think have ever seen me catch on my channel which is the infamous wiper which is a white bass and a striped bass mix they're vicious they're mean they're aggressive they fight really hard and this lake is chocked full of them so this actually has really this is really good conditions for them as well kind of rainy overcast um they hit top water a lot they hit crankbaits a lot and they get giant out here so with that being said we're gonna get everything loaded up into felix's boat and he's gonna take us out fishing hopefully we catch some fish to eat for breakfast we haven't eaten breakfast yet and starting the day off let me let me get a time check for you guys so we can do the real 24 hours here it is 8 37 a.m so basically we need to get breakfast we need to get lunch and dinner to complete this challenge we can't get any food from the store it has to be stuff we caught anyways you guys stay tuned oh yeah no you're not getting that out got him oh you got one i do I, oh i thought jet. it was the ground you, he says i thought it was the ground <laughs> this is a good one huh uh no oh, oh good large one. that's a good large mouth look at that guy there you go, pool jet. First fish landed by old pool jet. What's that? You got the lunger log on there, huh? Oh, yeah. Your watermelon red flake. Boom. There you go. That's a good size fish. Not dinner. Or breakfast, I should say. It's not breakfast, but. No. Hey, see you later, Rick. Old pool jet pulled in number one. Good large mouth. But I don't know one. You got one. Or you're on the bottom, one of the two. You had a fish. You got fish? Oh, really? On the inside? Yep. What you got? I should look at a That's, walleye. A walleye. That's a walleye. Look at that. There's some meat. Oh yeah. There you guys can eat this. <laughs> Where's my net, man? Where's the net? That's a oh, good walleye. <laughs> That's not what we expected at all. There you go. I feel like I haven't caught a walleye in years. Look at that. Is that a? Do you know what the length limit is here? Is that a keeper? There ain't no length limit. Perfect. That's that's breakfast there, buddy. Oh yeah. Bingo. Oh oh yeah. Huge fish right behind you, floating. Yeah. Magic oh, yep, yeah. you got him. You got it. He's got it. He figured it out. Oh, oh you know what? Oh, I looked no. at sick and dead no, fish. <laughs> yes, I did. No, no. <laughs> That's dinner there. <laughs> we were just talking about this huge floating fish out there that was dead. Do you think you have a fish and then it's wrapped on that? Or is that oh, all you? Because he's swimming that way. That's got to be PB for dead fish. <laughs> it even hooks dead ones. <laughs> so good, it even hooks the dead ones, huh? That's the old tagline. Yeah. You want me to bring this fish in for you? Yes, please. Oh, he came off. We're good. All right, we're good. Back in business. Oh, no, that's a wiper. Is it a wiper? Or, oh no. Well, it's a drum. It's drum. A drum. It's a drum. I told, I told you it's this a drum. Is deadly on drum. <laughs> that's a drum. I don't know the last time I saw a drum either. Okay, it's been five, six this, years ago. You can eat this puppy. You, you want me to eat this puppy? Yes, I do. You eat him Look up at good. that guy. I'll eat him. Oh yeah, that's a good. I mean, that's a good eating size too. It's not. It's not crazy big. It probably can't be too bad. I don't know. I don't think I've ever eaten a drum before though. They're called what? Croaker. A croaker? Isn't that a saltwater fish? Is that a saltwater uh, fish? A saltwater I mean, croaker? Yeah. That's, yeah is that what they look like? Yeah, it, well, it's, 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 the same it's family. in the drum family, yeah. Gotcha. 
I didn't know they could live in both. So you're a big, you're a big fan of the drum or no? Uh, I mean, like, do you eat fish that look like this from the ocean? Redfish and black drum. Okay, not exactly the same thing. I've there he is. Program. All right, I'll eat them. I mean, okay. why not? We'll try them. We'll throw them in the box. There you go. Well, if it was for Felix Spool Drive, I feel like we'd be, we'd be starving, we'd be starving yeah. on this challenge for sure. But we got a drum. We're hooked up. <laughs> GoPro wasn't even on. Rookie. Oh yeah. I made a switch to just like an orangish, yellow looking bait. Yeah, I think it's a wiper. It's fighting pretty darn good. Oh, it's a drum! Oh. Come on now. Come on. Dude, they fight like crazy though. I'll tell you that. They're pretty fun. I mean, for just a little guy like this. Wow. Wow, you're gonna eat good tonight. Yeah, no, we, he can go back. He can go back. We're good. We got plenty of food. Oh, hey buddy, how's it going? Well, my first fish. See you later, dude. We don't, we're not that hungry. We're not here to catch food for the whole day. What we catch for now is breakfast and then we gotta go to another spot for lunch and then dinner and so on. So there you go, my first fish in the boat. There you go. Oh, pool jet, big one. Oh, better bring mine in. Pool jet's hooked up, folks. You got a big one or what? I, uh, oh, you no, got it. I'm just pulling it in sideways again. Oh, red. Oh. This, he, this guy, he had y'all fooled. You're a good actor. See, that's a yellow Thank bass. You. Is it? Oh yeah. How do you tell the difference? He's got the old yellow body. Really? Oh yeah, so he's got that yellow, yellow on oh, the, uh, gotcha. right, right there. So you got a yellow bass. Congrats. I Thank literally you. thought that was like a 10 pound wiper. Oh, you better watch yourself now. We don't, we don't need the old ER trip. You don't? No, we don't. Well, <laughs> slowing down a little bit. We got a couple small ones, but good news is we do have food. No pool jet's getting hungry now. It's, it's like 10 30. Been out here for a couple hours and well, we're going to keep going for a little bit longer and then we got to clean these suckers up and get them cooked up. It seems like now what we're going to do is what we, what we need to eat for breakfast is going to end up being around lunchtime. What we're going to need for lunchtime is going to be around dinner and kind of keep going from there. So stay tuned. Now you got him. Now you got him. Chungus or what? Oh wow. Maybe. Bigger than the other one. Feel decent? Bull Jet's killing it right but now. But I said that about the other two. Things. Yeah, you did. You also said the other one was Chungus and it was about six inches. Oh yeah, no, I think we're following that pattern. Are we? Yeah. The squeaky, oh, yeah. huh? Oh hey, you got, a, you got a drum. Look at that guy. Hey, if we were on a survival challenge though, we'd have food for like the week. So oh, yeah, on a good we'd, note. We'd be good for the whole time. On a good note, we caught plenty of fish. Hey, easy there, Rick. See you later, dude. Hey, how's it going? Hey, see, I've got, you lift this one, right? Yeah, you put your finger right in his mouth. You better be careful when you place that. Hey, you did good. That's breakfast there, son. Hey, how's it going, folks? We've got the old walleye here, and then Mr. Drum is in here. They've got a nice little picnic table awning overhang thing here at the lake. So I figured, hey, that's what we're gonna do, the cleaning of the fish. We brought a propane cooker um, with a cast iron skillet. I just realized this wind is gonna be not good for the uh, fire here. But anyways, let's go ahead and get to clean it. I've never cleaned a wall, I believe that, believe it or not. I'm gonna clean it like I clean every other fish. Whether that's the right way or not, I'm not sure. So go ahead and, we're gonna go ahead and just cut right here, kinda right behind this uh, little gill plate here. Just slice it down, cut all the way down like here, kinda to the center. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip them, cut down, you wanna cut to his ribs. And once you get kinda in the middle of the spine right here, you wanna flip your knife and go this way. And a lot of times you'll hear the uh, you'll hear it going against the spine right here. So go ahead and just like, I'm sure there's better ways of doing it. Go ahead and just work your way all the way down. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of peel back, and you'll hear those ribs. You want to make sure you go around those ribs. So basically, I'm just gonna hold the fillet back and cut. This way, you go kind of go around the ribs. Poke your knife through and just go ahead and cut the bottom skin like this all the way just like that and you flip that guy over and what you'll do is I usually leave this attached just a little bit we'll cut just a little bit more like that so this is attached then what you do is you want to take the skin you want to take the fish off the skin to so cut down to the skin you just flex your knife and run it run it along that skin just like this just like that there's your little walleye fillet I don't see any bones or there might be a little bit I think this is what Felix was talking about. He's telling us about some, some bone thing right here. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of bones, but it's not too bad. I don't think it'll be too big of a deal. So we're gonna go ahead, flip around, do their side, and then we're gonna get onto the drum. All right, folks, so here's the drum. This is the meat we got off of the walleye. Quite a bit of meat. I kind of took some of the bones out and stuff like that. Again, I'm not an expert filleter. But we're gonna go ahead and try to get this drum taken care of. I've never cleaned a drum. I'm gonna clean it like I clean everything else. Could be the wrong way of doing it, I'm not sure. I'm just gonna go like this. I'm sure it's not gonna taste nearly as good as the walleye, but since this is a survival challenge, we feel like we probably should keep a little bit of these uh, the fish we caught, so. This is kinda tougher to cut, I'm not gonna lie. Let's go ahead and cut it down the same way. 
I'm assuming this is gonna be a little fish. I don't know, some people feel like don't, like drum around here at least is kind of considered trashers, but Pool Jet was saying, he's from Florida, and they've, they've got fish a lot like this. Like black drum, right? Isn't that what they're mm -hmm. called? And they taste good, huh? Maybe this will taste better and people are just, you know, people don't, they don't know how to cook it, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. I'm sure, like, I'm sure it's not gonna be any, like a walleye, but there's really not that much meat though, once you get past these ribs. No, I didn't even miss much. That's not much meat. That's crazy. There's not nearly as much meat on these things as I, as I thought. Same thing. That's a botch. But on a good note, see all that red? That meat right there, right this red stuff, it's not good. I did, I did miss a chunk right there. That's a good chunk. There you go, a little chunk. Pretty much a white filet. So we'll go ahead and do the other side, figure out how to show you guys this. And then we're gonna get to cooking. I don't know how, what do you think this wind's gonna do to our, our skillet action outside? I feel like it's, I mean, we might be okay. We'll try Either way, I'm gonna clean the other side and we're gonna get to uh, cooking. I think we'll be good. It's not too windy. We gotta remember not to just grab that. You ever done that? Cast iron? Yeah, it's hot. The handle gets hot, yeah. All right, well, let's get some oil on this. Look at that fish, folks. Look at this. This is the drum and drum. You can see the little red line right here, but this is delicious, fresh walleye. So what we brought, although like, it's not survival survival, so we had to bring some stuff from home. This is a batter mix. This is some egg. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do this. What I'm gonna do is take two eggs into the bag. Like that, one egg, two eggs. Close it and just scramble these up. Get them all nice and together. This is gonna be the wet concoction. Sometimes we've used, in the past, we've actually started using buttermilk a little bit. I don't honestly have a preference. I feel like they're both pretty similar. So what we're gonna do is we'll do the walleye first, um, just cause I think that's gonna be us. We're going, we're, I mean, we're going big chunks on this. So go ahead and throw that walleye in there. You wanna make sure your fish is dried off before. I usually find that to make everything stick a little bit better. So we're gonna go ahead and just throw all of it in here. Just get it all nice and coated up with that egg wash. Shake it up nice. And then you're gonna take it directly from the egg into the batter. Take it out. Shake it, throw it in there. Just throw them all in there. This is the quickest, most effective way I found to, uh, to fry fish, especially like this is kind of like a camping style shore lunch deal where you just kind of pull up with your fresh fish and cook them up instead of going home. And we got one more little guy, just like that. So once these are in there, leave some air in it, roll it up like this, shake it up. So I guess if you leave air in this, it allows the fish to separate from each other. It won't get all clumpy. You'll get a nice even coat on everything. And then you'll throw this straight into the hot grease. All right, we're gonna try it out. Let's see what it looks like. I mean, it's sizzling. I'd say it's probably pretty good. All right, big chunk, it's going in hot. Woo! Oh yeah, she's spicy. Nothing like fresh walleye, baby. Oh yeah, big old flat. Oh, right on the kneecap. That's a knee slapper right there, son, that hurt. That's a lot of meat for a walleye. That's it. So there's our walleye. We're gonna go ahead and get the other fish breaded up and uh, we'll throw them in. We're gonna put them side by side. I would assume we'll be able to tell the difference, but you never know. Oh, red. Oh. All right, let's throw the other ones in. You lost one, we had a casualty. It's all right, it's been five seconds. There you go, bunny apple feet. <laughs> yes, sir. We had one casualty. It was a little piece too. You know, when they say breakfast champions, I think this is what they mean. Even though it ain't breakfast, folks. Let me give you a time check. 12.03, freaking noon. Me and Pool Jet, we're both hangry out here. We're like, dude, why? Why did we start this challenge in the morning? Started in the afternoon, it wouldn't be as bad. We start, we hadn't eaten nothing today. We're both hangry and heck. Luckily, we've got a good amount of fish here. Good, good amount of walleye. We've got the drum to try. I don't think it's gonna be quite as good as a walleye, but at this point, we're gonna freaking eat. So now we're basically eating lunch during breakfast, so we're probably gonna eat, no. We're eating breakfast during lunch, and now we're probably gonna eat lunch during dinner, and then di dinner during, well, Probably late tonight. All right, let's see how hot this guy is. I have not had walleye in forever. Oh yeah, it's about to be good. Those bones? Oh rip. No, I agree. All right, ready? Oh, mmm. Mmm. You wait till you. Pool has not had walleye. Cheese and rice, folks. Tell you what, that's the best taste of fish there is. You tell me what you think about that piece right there. Oh, good. oh, dude, it's unreal. Good. It's unreal. <laughs> it's so much better than all the other fish we've eaten. Yeah. Like by a mile. Yeah. You can't beat that. 
No, that's really good. You literally cannot beat it. It's just something about it. I'm gonna try a big chungus piece here. Oh, fire. Good too? No, yeah. Dude, you can't get a bad piece. That is so much better than any other fish we've ever had. That's way better. Dude, so yeah. much better. Mm -hmm. Oh my, I, for, everyone's like, what's your favorite fish? And everyone's response is walleye. And I'm always like, I don't know, dude. I've had some good catfish. I've had some good bluegills. I've had some good, you know, crappie. I don't know if it's because we're starving, but might this be. might be top three fish I've ever had in my entire life. I'm not even lying. I mean, not fishy, super flavorful. Mm. That's that's good. I'm glad I'm glad we kept what we did. This this should get us by till this afternoon. We're not sure what we're gonna do this afternoon. Felix was telling us about a, a lake that's got some crappie, so we might try that. We're not really sure. We got my boat. Um, like so we took his boat because it was supposed to rain. Then it, it rained on and off, but not really that much. Um, so we could have taken mine, but either way, we've got my boat now. We're gonna head off. We need to try this though first. Oh God, it's tough. You think it's is it not cooked? Oh, it might not be cooked. I mean, I cooked it fast, but like even in high heat, it should be like two minutes. Dude, it's like. I wouldn't eat that if I was you. The taste isn't bad at all. It's the, te it's the texture of chicken, it's chewy. You think it's not cooked? Dude, I, co I know I cooked it fast, like pretty fast. Dude, it's like, look, look. It's like rubber. It's like rubber. It doesn't taste bad though. It really doesn't. I don't know if I undercooked it. What do you guys think? If I if I undercooked, I mean, it got going crispy and it's floating. Like, I don't know how else you go about it. Maybe that's how drum it, like maybe that's how drum is. Dude, it's like chicken. If you gave me that, I'd say that's chicken. Dude, it doesn't taste bad. You should try it. It don't taste bad. It well, just- It's pretty like, it's pretty tough. It just doesn't have a flaky, but it doesn't, it doesn't have a bad taste. It tastes like chicken. It does kind of taste like chicken. Yeah, it's well, not it's bad. Really, Let me know what you guys think. Though. If any of you guys eat drum, did I cook it incorrectly or is that how drum is? Is it tougher? It's not light and flaky, but it, it, it's pretty good to be honest. Like I didn't, I like it better than half the catfish we freaking eat on this channel. But uh, I mean, look at that walleye. You can't beat that. Look at it, it's just flaky, pure white. This is good stuff. Dude, this walleye. It is incredible. There you have it. Meal number one of three complete. That was delicious. We need to we need to go get some drinks. We can drink, okay? We can go by the gas station and buy drinks. That's not that's not the. Get a milkshake. We could get a milkshake. There's a milk there. No, that's food. That's food. I think that's considered food. You think no, so? Not. You think a milkshake's a drink? Got a straw and it's in a cup. You're not wrong. <laughs> that is a valid point. That is a valid point. Well, we're gonna go ahead and finish up this fish. That was the wrong kind. I just took a bite, dude. It, it was like biting into a chicken wing. That's the walleye. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Anyways, we're gonna pack up our stuff and head out to the next adventure for the next meal. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! All right, folks. Well, let me give you a quick time check here. We've been running around for a while. It is 2.23 in the afternoon. We had to go run some errands and stuff this afternoon. We made a quick pit stop to Walmart to grab some night crawler, but nothing else really happened. It just took us a while to kind of get to this lake. So here's the lake. It, it is public, okay? It's it's a public lake. It's not, it's not private. I don't want you guys saying I'm right here cheating. This is public and I have fished this. I think I fished this when I was probably 16 years old. One time, one evening, it wasn't even for a YouTube video and I don't think I caught a fish. So, but good old Felix. Also, shout out to Felix. Felix, without him, we wouldn't have that wall. Well, we wouldn't have any of fish, uh, but he's the one who actually caught that wire. So big shout out to you, Felix, for showing us the ropes out there. I had fun, we caught some fish, and he's, he recommended this lake is where we wanted to go. Um, I asked him for crappie, there's bluegills, there's bass, there's catfish. I mean, there's a little bit of everything. We've got really, really good conditions though. It doesn't really look like it's gonna rain. Better knock on some wood. Hope we don't get any rain, but uh, we're ready to take this beautiful boat out. This is like one of the, let me think, this would be like the second or third time we've taken it. Either way, we haven't taken this thing out too much. So we're ready. We're ready to put the old boat in the water and uh we're gonna see what this lake has to offer we just need something to eat for well pretty much we're fishing for dinner at this point but you know the sooner the better so stay tuned We're good. Yes, sir. We are off, baby. All right. All right, well, we're gonna get to dangling. So I don't know where we're after. I mean, heck, we might even catch some bullfrogs out here. I heard some bullfrogs doing the old croaky croaky a second ago. This is actually is a pretty good bass lake too, so we might just catch some largemouth for fun. But the goal, like I said, is to catch something for pretty much dinner at this point. And then after dinner, we'll have to catch something for kind of a midnight snack to tie us over until, you know, 8.30, until the time ends tomorrow morning. So stay tuned. All right, folks. I, uh, you know, crappy fishing. I don't know. Me, me crappie fishing plus my backyard pond. Hey, yeah, boy, is a beast. But crappie fishing public water 
especially the muddy. I'm just making excuses. I just suck. We've been trolling for like 20 minutes. I had one little tip tap, but not much. And then all of a sudden I look up and there's cheese. There's cheese and cheese and cheese. My cheese, I mean like the green, slimy, nasty looking weeds. That largemouth love to hide it. With your boy being a largemouth guy, I kind of have to, you know, I kind of have to try for him. Now, I don't think we're going to be keeping any of these largies out of here. This is more for just you know, having some fun, seeing what seeing what this lake has to offer. I've never really fished this lake for largemouth. So we're gonna kind of see what see what this lake has to offer. And you know, maybe we find a brush pile or something out where we see some potential crappie habitat. We're gonna try for some largemouth. And there is the chance that we uh, we can get some bullfrogs too with the frogs that we guys have, you guys have seen that work for us as well. So maybe, maybe we don't catch crappie, you know, we'll give it the old try, but I think we could probably catch some bullfrogs as well. And then we could always just eat the bullfrogs. And then for dinner, we could go after another fish species. So you guys stay tuned. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a little one though, I think. Yep, that's a that's a squeak. You got him? Oh, you got him. <laughs> Full jet. You got the old frog. He's squeaky deaky guy. Yeah, that ain't it. Yeah, that ain't it. Think he's too small? Yeah. I probably should, we probably shouldn't keep him. He's just a wee guy. Although we are on a survival mission, we ain't keeping the babies. We gotta find them grown bullfrogs. It's actually been a lot harder to find them than I thought. We've been fishing for like an hour now. Well, ladies and gents, we've uh, we found the frogs, folks. They're just they're they're small. They're not eaters, not keggers. Um, there might be more, but I mean, we went we went down an entire stretch of bank fishing. Not a single large mouth. This lake honestly looks pretty much like toast. So Felix only told us to go here because of crappie, and I gave up on that after about 10-15 minutes. But uh, we're gonna go back to the dam, uh, which is where I assume the crappie would be, and throw some little uh, underspin looking deals and, and try a little bit, and then we might we might move to another spot to get the late lunch that we were after. So. Stay tuned. There's one. There's one. Oh yeah, off the drop. That's what you said, boy. I called it. Called it. What do we got though? This is this something we can eat? It's a largey, boys. Get up in here, son. Not quite, baby. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick. Calm down. Yeah, he ain't even. He ain't even a keeper. If we were gonna eat a large amount. Well, maybe they're on this little drop off. That's first fish of this lake. We were just talking about we might want to leave. It's almost pretty. It's pretty much almost dinner time at this point. So we gotta get something figured out. Well, we're uh, we're getting off this lake here, folks. We freaking suck at this. Well, we just suck at this lake in general. Um, you know, I, I we could really grind out the promise. It's four o'clock. Okay, it's almost dinner time, and we're trying to get lunch. Is the boat way off, or is it just me? Oh yeah, we can. We're off, but we'll, we can give her the old shove. Anyways, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna try to find some public ditches for for bullfrog instead of fishing, and then tonight, this evening, we're gonna try to catch more fish to eat. So stay tuned. All right, folks, so here's the first spot. All right, this is, oh, hey, how's it going, airplane? How you doing? We're going to uh, walk these ditches. There's one that runs this way. Oh, there's a little muskrat. I just saw a muskrat. Look at that guy. I don't know where he went. There's a little carp down there, too. Oh, hey, thanks for the audio plane. You got it. There's a ton of little carp and shad, too. We do have the, we've got the bow fishing bow with us if uh, we start seeing big carp surface or anything for, for dinner, but see all the little little shad and frogs a bunch and of stuff? dead ones right here. Yeah, they're all dead. Oh, yeah, there's some. I wonder why. Either way, we've got two good road ditches run there. One there, believe it or not, actually in the state that we're in, road ditches are technically public property. Basically anybody can go there. So it is technically pu public, even though like that cornfield's private, the road ditch is technically public. So we're gonna kind of walk. We've got, we're loaded up with the old topwater frog. This is the old frog catching machine, old Google squad frog. So we're gonna walk the ditches and hope we find one and then bring a couple in for a late lunch, early dinner. We freaking suck folks, okay? Ooh, so it, what time is it? This has been a, uh, this has been a heck of a day. What day? Yeah. Guess what time it is? It is four, four, uh, twenty-nine. It's four thirteen. Thirteen. Okay, I was off by close. a little bit. Four thirteen, and we're just trying to get lunch. I feel like this is a, an attempt for dinner. This was a go. This was a go-to spot. We thought this spot would be good. Nothing. It was weird because all the carp were dead, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But I would say we're gonna head south now, and we're gonna try to do some bow fishing. I mean, we're trying to do some frogs and bow, but I, I we're running out of time. That's the problem, we're running out of time. I don't think we're going to be able to get three meals out of it. I mean, we ate breakfast at almost noon. So it's like, we start. We should have like started this at a different time and carried it into tomorrow, but I wanted it to do morning to morning. So we're basically like, whatever we eat tonight, that's it. Basically it's a day. You can call it 24 hours. At the end of the day, I was going for three meals in one day and we, and we got them all. We're running out of time. By the time we go get something, go back, cook it, it's gonna be dark to get our, our last meal. So I think, our goal is to now just get enough food to last us for two meals. So we had our, our meal already, the fish, and then we're going after something big. I mean, if we do frogs, we're gonna need a lot of frogs to fill up Pool Jet and myself until tomorrow at 8.30. Maybe we'll both be able to bow fish a carp of some kind, something like that, something bigger, but 
I'm sorry, I apologize. I, I really tried to get three meals out of it and we're running out of time. So we're gonna keep driving around and uh, see if we can find some frogs. We do have the bow fishing bow and just see what kind of meat we can get before dark. Stay tuned. Shoo! All right, folks, we made it to the next spot here. Well, this is a public bridge and I'm not sure neither pool jet or not. We, we're running out of steam, folks. We're both hangry and exhausted. It has been way harder of a challenge than I expected. Yeah, what are you gonna see down there? It's freaking chocolate milk. This bridge apparently has, oh, there's a turtle. You see fish? Shut up. Did something just surface? No way. Shoot him off this bridge, baby. And you might just take a minute to, so basically you gotta stay in here and just wait for them to come up. Oh, right there. Gar. Oh, so let's go get the boat. Let's go get the boat. We just saw a guard. You gotta be quick. We gotta be quick. We just saw a guard. All right, dope, 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 dope. I don't really wanna eat guard, but dope. Let's, let's, we're eating, we need something. We need food, we're dying out here. We're ready, boys. Public land. We're just shooting off a freaking bridge. I don't even know if we're supposed to be here. I'm gonna have to be quicker and hack, boys. I see bubbles, maybe we can go stand right here. The little guard ain't gonna have much meat on it though, that's the only problem. How do we walk up and see one and then nothing? There's bubbles, should I shoot at some bubbles? Scared something, see all them bubbles? Alrighty folks, here it is. This is where I know you guys are tired of hearing me talk and not a whole lot go on. I just realized I think I've maybe caught a drum today and maybe a bass and that's about it. But we are at, this is actually a bow fishing spot. We're at the bow fishing spot. We're going to give it the old college try here. Uh, just some basically some, some more road ditches right, shooting off the road. Um, I don't see anything surface quite yet, but we're going to grab the old bow and give her the old one too. All we need is literally one good sized carp and we'll be eating good tonight. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to let one rip right in the middle. This is a blind shot here. Nothing. Oh for one. Nothing. We're just gonna have to blind, blind shoot till something starts surfacing. We suck. We might be going on frog duty, pool jet. I was hoping for a big old fish for you. I know how much you enjoy carp. Last shot, pool jet. If we don't get anything here, we're going after frogs. Right in the middle. We suck. I don't know if the water's too deep. I just, we haven't seen much surface, but there's some bullfrogs, so let's try shooting them. You think I can hit this guy? If you miss him, I don't know what to tell you. Got him. You Easy peasy there, son. I was hoping for a fish. Hey, I like frogs. That's big chungus right there, son. We got dinner. Let's get, well, let's get, uh, I mean, I'm freaking starving. I say at least like four. I'll sing more like six. You want like six? All right, we'll try for six. All right, so we found another frog here. It's probably 15 yards, 20 yards. It's gonna be a pretty far shot. Oh, right in the butt. Oh, I missed him. He's still sitting down there. Nope. 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 All right, folks. So we, we got one with the bow, but I did want to catch one on the old Guggen frog. So we're going to try this, see if we can catch a few more. Yeet. Oh, yeet. Hey, how you doing, Rick? Hey, how about you go in my bucket? Hey, that's how you do it right there. What are you doing? All right, ready? Got him. Yes, sir. Oh, God, rip. All right, ready. And drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, Oh, God, we about lost another one. Now we have two. Got him, got him, got him. Oh, easy, easy. He's not giant, but I'll take him. Ready? I'll tell you when to stop, because I think I can, all right, you're good. Yep, yep. Hey, see, we got the system down. That's three. Got him. There we go. There we go. Yes, sir. We got another one. All right, that's four. All right, we made we made a move to the next spot on the other side. A lot bigger frogs here. Hey, Papa. Hey, Papa. Got him. Oh yeah. He spoke Spanish. That was what it was. I said Oi, Papa. Which, oi papa means today dad. Makes no sense, but hey, we got him. That's five, baby. One more. And you're good. Yes, sir. All right, uno mas. Got him. Yes, sir. That was big papa, too. Yes, sir. That was papa. We got him. There you go, Chungus. That's six. Good. Yes, sir. All right. Finally. Cool Jet and I. Time's it. We're dying out here. It is 5.44 p.m., baby. This challenge was actually way harder than I thought. But if you guys like the challenge, let me know. Anyways, we're gonna head back. Are you thinking frog tacos? You thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking. I'm thinking frog tacos. We're gonna try something different. Now, I'm not out here getting corn and what? what's tor tortillas made out of? 
There's corn. Well, corn? There, there's flour also. What about corn tortillas? That's Either way, I'm not about to make some corn tortillas from scratch because you can't find that. Well, you probably can't find it in nature, but listen, I'm not about that life. So, although we are going to probably be using some tortillas and some other stuff that isn't found in nature necessarily, like the survival challenge idea, you guys get what I'm saying. Either way, we got the meat. The, the main course is coming from nature, which is, the, which is the challenge. So, see you guys at home. That right there, folks. That's how you clean frogs fast. I cleaned all six of them in two minutes and 33 seconds. In total, cleaned them. They're ready to rock and roll. We are going to attempt to do some frog tacos. Now you can see, see, we, I told you guys, we'd have, oh, actually it started sprinkling. I, oh, yep, I can feel it now. It's starting to sprinkle. See, it's a good thing that although we're hungry and we only had two meals today, that we aren't forced to fish tonight because we would have had to for sure cancel. There's a huge storm coming in. They're talking about tornadoes and hail and all that good stuff. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and get these guys cleaned really quick. We're gonna head outside and get to cooking our final meal of the day. You guys stay tuned. Here we go, folks. We've got the frog legs. Step number one, we're going to debone them. That means we're going to take these delicious legs and cut all the meat off and slice it up into little bite-sized pieces. Kind of like you would do like chunked up steak or chicken or pork for taco. So next step is going to be deboning the frog legs. <laughs> Look at this folks, we got all the frog cut up into these pieces. We're gonna throw it in some hot oil and give it a little cook. Jesus. Boom, looks kind of funky right now. I don't know, it's not really looking as good as I would expect. I don't know, it just kind of looks, it looks chewy. Like the visualization of chewy. It kind of looks like we're eating like brains or something. Like I don't know if you've ever seen, like that doesn't look, look like frog. No, wait, this looks gross. I don't know if I like this or not, but we are gonna be seasoning it with this. This is the all new ducks seasoning. It's all meat seasoning. Basically it gives whatever meat you're using a nice buttery taste. It's really good seasoning. There's no label on this because this was one of the very first samples. I haven't even gone through all of it yet, Um, but I will leave a link down in the if you guys want to go check that out as well. Ducks, all meat seasoning. That's what we're going to be using. Once these guys are nice and cooked up, we're going to throw them in some seasoning and then uh, make some tacos. Oh, this does not look very good though, pool day. I'll tell you what, I have seen a lot better meals in my life than this. I'm not ashamed of this one quite yet because we hadn't really got to the juice yet. But I definitely realized we used way too much oil. Like I'm just used to frying, so I threw some oil in there and I was like, wait, we were just trying to sear it. This might be good, might not be. Oh, that's gas. No, it's Most not. Most fire, There's right? no way. That's good. And a taco. All right, let's get tacos. Well, I'm, I'm building the world's greatest frog taco is what I'm doing right here. You take your lettuce. We'll give it one of these. I should work at a restaurant. This is fire. This is, this would do really well as an item on a menu at a restaurant. We're good. Dude, give me a little dollop of Daisy. You know what I'm saying? I know and there's all the sins. I know all the slogans. <laughs> that was a great dollop. That was was it? Was that a good dollop? That was fantastic. All right, boys. Here we go. Give Look at this. Taste. Frog tacos to finish off the the meal. Oh, we got oh. we got drippage. That's how juicy these frogs are. Are you ready? Oh, big bite. Absolutely incredible. Really? It's fire, dude. Oh, yeah. I don't think I'm saying that just because we've been eating all day. Like, if someone gave this to me... Would you know it's frog? No. What would you think it is? Chicken? Mm-hmm. Really tender chicken. No frog taste. Like, there's not, like, any type of weird taste to it. I think you gotta try it for yourself. You gotta let me know. All right, old pool jet. He's getting her figured out. Oh, boy. You're a big taco guy, huh? Sure. <laughs> Do you eat tacos? No, I actually really like. Oh, them. okay, okay. Yeah, no, they're good. No, you got it. You got it. Ooh. 
Juicy. It's a ju she's a ju she's a juicer, yeah. Yeah. Ideally you wouldn't uh throw the frogs in, you know, a couple cups of oil like I did. You'd splash it. I just totally spaced. Yeah, it, this is it's a cool challenge for you guys, I'm sure, but I don't operate well when I'm hungry. Like, dude, I am just like, is it tomorrow yet? Can we stop this? Can we eat a normal what do you think? That's pretty good. It's not bad. I wouldn't know it's frog. No, you would have no I idea. Chicken. Chicken with a weird texture, but like, yeah. I mean, look at that. That's a that's a meaty son of a gun there too. So you like it. I like it. Would you prefer I've this heard. over how we've normally done it, or would you rather just have a frog? Probably frog? not. Yeah. Probably it's a lot of work fried. too. Seems a it's a lot easier. of work. Yeah. It's a lot of work and it doesn't I don't know, you don't get that like, hey, I'm eating frog vibe. Like this would be a way if for some crazy reason you need to uh, eat frogs and you don't like the taste of frogs for some reason, this would be a way to hide it, I guess. But like, it really just tastes a lot like chicken, especially that all meat seasoning on there just gives it the right blend of just, I mean, you literally, you can put it on anything. Steaks, burgers, frogs, whatever it might be. Look, you can tell we're hungry. He literally, he, just, he literally just finished that taco off camera because we're so hungry. So it is, okay, so it's 7.20 p.m. Now I know some of you guys might be thinking, well, doesn't this challenge end at 8.30 tomorrow morning? It does. We didn't even last 12 hours. <laughs> we, didn't even, it, we didn't. It hasn't even been 12 hours. Dude, we are terrible at this. But we are going to end this video because I know it's long and like we're not going to go out. Well, look, it's it's raining. Can you guys see that? It is raining and it's sunny at the same time. I'm not sure what's going on. The storm hit and it's raining, but now it's sunny, I guess. But I mean, honestly, we've got at least two more tacos worth. I, I mean, we're going to eat these two tacos and, you know, call it a day, call it a challenge. Because if we were really trying to survive, we'd be, we'd be good. We had plenty of food. We could have kept some more drum um, and stuff like that. Probably even kept some of those wipers or white bass with little guys. But overall, we wanted the challenge of making three meals in a day based off of what you could catch in which we even failed at that. But granted that we only had like not very much time to, in between lunch and dinner to really acquire more food. If that makes sense, like cause we, we like I said, you guys know, we ate breakfast at lunchtime and we ate lunch at dinner time. And there's no point in going out and getting more food because I'm chilling. Like give me one more taco, okay? And I'll be, I'll be chilling till the morning. So I would say today's video is, is gonna be wrapped up, but remember Beefcake merch is now available. Link down in the description down below. Use promo code Flair, get 15% off of your purchase. Hat, t-shirt, t-shirt, hat, all that good stuff. So go check it out. If you guys want the BFK merch, like I said, make sure you use promo code FLAIR, 15% off Google's website. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. You guys want to see more of these videos? We kind of thought, well, well, let's try it. We, I mean, we didn't fail, okay? We didn't die. I don't think, I don't think old pool jet. Now, we wouldn't, we wouldn't die out in the wilderness. No, I think we'd die. Right. Even though we weren't in the wilderness, we were in a boat most of the day. But if you guys want to see this again, maybe we'll do a backyard version where we only can do stuff in the backyard or something like that. A variation of eating only what I catch in 24 hours. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I hope you guys are doing things right. Peace.